Hey everyone, so it's Hearth and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are going to be doing my Ostara altar setup. guys have been on this channel for a while you will have seen that I've done almost all of the sabbats for the last year and a bit a little bit anyway so today I'm doing my Ostara altar now I did miss my Involg altar which I'm really sad about but everything is back on track and now I can do my Ostara altar so if you've seen any of the previous videos you're kind of gonna know how these videos go but if you haven't I do have a full playlist of all of my Sabbath altars if you do want to have a look at the rest of the Sabbaths but these videos are typically just time lapse with some pretty music over the top and then I talk you through just a little bit of the things that are on the altar itself so if you're interested let's get on with the altar setup <music> So this is my Ostara altar all set up and it is very different from any of my other altars. Now I know I say that like all the time in every altar video, but this one is actually really, really different. To start off with, it's on completely different tables. So I used to have one rectangular table and one smaller rectangular table kind of pushed underneath it. Now I have a big square table and a smaller square table sitting on top of it because I'm using the other two tables for different things. They're being used for microphones and laptops and all that kind of stuff that I use when I'm filming. So I've had to substitute them out for these and I actually really, really like it. It makes it a bit more obvious in the room. So this is like a little alcovey section and usually you don't really see it. 
So having the altar set up in this way, with this bit being so much higher, like I'm sitting on the floor right now, and this table is taller than I am. So it gives you an idea of kind of how high up this altar actually is. My original altar was no higher than this bottom table. This altar is like a foot higher, so it's definitely much more of a focal point now. So the cloth on top of it is just a pink velvet cloth. I always put the links down in the description box for where you can get these from. I just get these from eBay. They're just standard pink crushed velvet. Nothing expensive about it. They're really, really affordable to get and I love having loads of different colors. So I always use these on my altars. I then have this green stuff. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will see this stuff is actually around my bookcase in my filming space and I, I had to nick a bit so that I could put it on this altar. So in a few videos, you might find that there is no greenery on my bookcase, and uh, yeah, that would be why I kind of nicked it. So then you have the same things as usual. So you have the colour-changing Himalayan salt lamp at the top. This is on all of my altars, and it's actually sitting on top of a wooden disc. Same as usual, that is always on this altar. In front of that, you then have one of my sitting goddesses. I actually have quite a few of these. And normally they have just an empty space in the stomach, but I've actually put in a clear quartz crystal ball, mainly because I just love having just general energy around an altar, so I use clear quartz to achieve that. I then have a few crystals dotted around that I will get into in just a moment. Down here is where things get rather different than usual. So in the center, I have a beautiful plaque that I got from one of my friends at the markets. I've done a whole video talking about this plaque and a few other things on my channel, so I will link that if you guys want to go and check that out to see it closer. But it's a beautiful plaque. It shows a god and a goddess with a moon and a sun and then a pentacle in the background. Now, although I'm not Wiccan, personally. This plaque is just so beautiful and I felt like it was so fitting for this altar so it's gone on this altar in particular. You can't really see it but just over there, here it is, there is a large selenite tower. Now Ostara is really great for spring cleaning and it's also great for cleansing and selenite is one of those crystals that not only attracts positive energy it also self cleanses. So I thought that was really good to have on this altar and it's rarely out, I rarely use the selenite tower so now I have a reason to put it on the altar. At this end I have essentially just a little candle stick holder and inside is a rose quartz egg. Now I was given this or I won it, I'm not quite sure, at one of the events that I attended. So now, perfect time to use a quartz egg in a little candle holder and it looks really really cute it's perfect as well because I don't really have any of the other symbolism of Ostara so I don't really have any hairs I don't have any eggs really anywhere else so I finally get to use my little crystal egg on the altar and then lastly down here is actually my amethyst aura quartz heart now this is on all of my altars it fits in a little bit better on this altar because of the color but I typically don't really use that anywhere else. It's always on my Sabbath altars. And then, last thing is just the crystals. I don't really have all that much on this altar and it's because the way I use the altar is slightly changing. So I would typically have an incense stick or I'd have candles burning. And although that is really nice to have, at the moment, because I'm filming a lot and I'm editing a lot and I'm in and out, I don't like having that stuff burning when I'm not in the room. So for now, there are no candles on this altar. That might change. I do have a green macaroon candle, which smells amazing, that I really want to use. Um, so that might end up being on this altar, but I might also just put that somewhere else for safety reasons. So the crystals I've got on this altar, you can't really see them that well, but there are a lot of opalite. So I have two opalite arrowheads on the altar. I then have a lot of opal dotted around. I've got a lot of aquamarine dotted around, um, rose quartz, amethyst. Um, I have this crystal, which is a name that I can't pronounce, so I will list it at the bottom because I've got no idea what that is. Um, and then I also have a few pieces of green fluorite dotted around as well. And then the last item is actually a tiny quartz Venus of Willendorf, which sits just at the bottom of my goddess. 
I love having her out on altars around the Ostara season, so she's up there as well. So yes, that is my altar all set up. It's a bit different than it usually is, but I actually really like how tall it is. I think it's really great. It's like a focal point in the room. So yes, my Ostara altar finally all set up. So that is my Ostara altar all set up and ready to go. It's a really unusual altar. I know that you guys really liked the way I did it before with the two tables, but uh, yeah, I ended up using those tables for something else. So there's actually a table right beneath me that has my mic attached to it. Um, yes, whoops. Um, I ended up using the tables for other things, so I've had to kind of improvise. And I quite like how weird it is. And although on camera it might look really, really strange, in person it actually makes more sense because the height means you can actually see my altar. Whereas before, the only way you could see my altar is if you were sitting in the chair that's next to it. Now you can see it no matter where you are in the room, which I really, really like. I like the fact that it's way more obvious. So anyway, that is my Ostara altar. If you haven't seen the rest of my altars, feel free to check out the playlist. I will link it down below and it will also be on the end screen. So if you did enjoy this video, feel free to give it a like. It really, really means so much to me. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, video ideas, or just want to chit chat with the community down in the comment section, feel free to post a comment. And if you do enjoy the magical content on this channel or in this video, feel free to hit subscribe. I do try my best to post magical content every Wednesday and every Saturday at 6 p.m. So I hope you guys have a marvelous magical day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!